Power 961, Atlanta's number one hit music station. Got a special guest in the studio with me. What's going on? I'm going to let you introduce yourself, sir. What's up, guys? I'm Christian Paul. Man, What's thank up, you so man? much for having me today. Oh, thank you for stopping by, man. Of course. I got it. I got it. First and foremost, you got the young baby face. You're 19, <laughs> but you've been doing music for a long time. For a minute, yeah. So, um, I grew up playing instruments. Uh, so started with drums at like four. Uh, gradually started adding on and like learning different instruments. So, guitar, piano, bass. Um, and then started singing at 12. And so ever since I was I was 12 or 13. Um, I've been pursuing, you know, working in the music industry and have been doing so like in, in some extent. But now it's like, you know, I'm actually doing it full time. So it's, it's a blessing, man. Uh, so you named about like six different instruments. What's the toughest? What was the toughest instrument for you to learn? Oh, toughest to learn. Um, I would say the toughest to learn for me. And it wasn't because it's a, it's a hard instrument to learn. It was the way I went about learning it. Right was piano. Okay. And so I had I had one of those uh really strict piano teachers uh -huh. when I was like 7, and so I couldn't do it because it was so structured. And so I had to I had to like take a step back from piano lessons and just like figure it out on my own. So I play everything by ear. Uh le I mean I I learned some chords on uh on on YouTube, like yeah. just different inversions and stuff, but um yeah, I mean I I just couldn't do lessons. So your music career is taking off. You're 19, and I reiterate that because I think about what I was doing at 19. And <laughs> it, you're, what's the pros and cons? Like, what what are some things that you love about you know you, you're getting people to hear your music, but at the same time, do you go on Instagram and do you see your friends posting pictures from back home or whatever, and you kind of right. miss out on those moments? Like, talk to me, man. Um, I would say definitely what you said about going on Instagram, and I see all my friends. Um, like in, in college now, because I, I just graduated high school last year. Yeah, well congratulations. As, thank you so much, man. Yeah. So uh I mean that that's that's one thing. I mean I'm 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 missing out on a on a college experience, but I mean I'm getting to live out my dream. Absolutely, so, absolutely. I mean I think it's a good trade off. I'm I'm not I'm not too mad at it at all. So you know what what's interesting about that is um a lot of people go to college and they still they're still trying to find their passion. Right. They're trying right. to find what they want to do. Yeah. And for you to be able to come in, you know, and you know, you're already ahead, so many so ahead of the curve right now. Uh and just to have that that passion, what is it like having people uh learn who you are as an artist? And and have you met people in the street who've heard your music and tell you, you know, I heard your music, yo, keep it up. I love what you're doing. Yeah, man, it's it's always really encouraging, and um, I've I've experienced uh, you know people in the industry who have tried to kind of change who I am as an artist, and right. Um, you know, I I grew up on R and B soul music, so like my earliest memories are my me sitting in my dad's lap when Torrance were a thing, like Frostwire, Limewire, and him like playing me. Curtis Mayfield, Stevie Wonder, Sly and the Family Stone, Prince, like all those people. So that was that was who I was as an artist. That was right. the music that I fell in love with. And so some people didn't quite get get that vision. Okay. Um. So I say that to to say I'm incredibly blessed now to work with a team of people who who do get that vision and do do uh, trust me creatively. Um. So I'm able to maintain this level of integrity as an artist now. So it's it's awesome, man. It's a blessing. I, and I think that's very interesting, especially be, with you being a young artist. Um, and m a lot of fans, they don't get to hear the struggles of the actual artist trying to get their artistry out. Because right. once uh, companies, you know, want to, they want to play your music, they want to be a part of your project, they have their own visions for you as well. Right, right. How hard can that be for you to stay in your ground with saying, hey, this is what I have for myself. This is how I see myself. How hard it? What's the what's the give and con, or like give and takes? Like what what are some things that you like? Okay, I'll give you this if I do this. Man, I, I would say, um, fans of music are. I mean, audiences are smart, man. They can tell when there's when there's not integrity uh, behind what an artist is putting out. And I would say that uh, you know I've been a part of of other projects where I've compromised that and compromised who I am as an artist, and it and it showed. You know, it it, it always shines through in the music. Um, and so now, you know, I'm, I'm able to have my hand in everything that I do, every creative decision, um, every writing process. So I, I, I write my own music. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's, it's, 
it's genuine to who I am. Um, so yeah. All right, so you got so Christian, you you if I, before we we even talk about your single, I gotta ask you a question. So for people people hearing you, seeing you for the first time, who are you? Like, and I I ask you this from a a a, a fresh slate. Yeah. I, I'm about to hear your music, but who are you as a person? Man, who am I as a person? Am I that, are you that guy that I, I, I go to the movies and kick it with and I laugh? Are you that guy that, wh- who are you? Man, who? I'm, a, I'm a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I would say for for me, um, if we're talking about like, uh, like if we're, if we're going to go chill, yeah, I would say uh, be expecting to laugh. Okay. But also... I, I, I'm a fan of, of friendships with depth, you know? Okay. So also be expecting deep conversation, you know? Nice. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. All right. A little, a little bit of mystique to it. All right. right. So you got a song uh, out called Strong. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what 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 does the song mean to you? Man, there's a lot of depth in Strong. Um, so I wrote it about eight months ago now. Okay. After I got a phone call from my mom. And I was in New York. I'd just gotten to my hotel room uh, from the studio, so from a recording session. And um, my mom calls me and ends up breaking the news to me that my stepfather is diagnosed with cancer. Wow. And so as she's telling me this, I can tell that she's holding back emotion for, mm-hmm. uh, being, for, for the sake of being strong for me and my family. And in that moment, I told her she had been strong for me my entire life. Uh, and now it's my turn to be strong for, for her. Um, and if there was nobody else that she felt like she could break down in front of, she could break down in front of me. Um, hence the chorus. Uh, Cause I'm strong enough for the both of us. us. And so that's that's how the song was born. And kind of in a, um, in a more broad sense, the song is really meant to be a depiction of what it means to carry someone's burdens out of love, no matter how heavy that weight may be. Absolutely. I can I can feel that song so much and it speaks to me on so many different levels because I had a mother, she actually now I'm from Louisiana, so she came to visit here. Wow. She was on a conference and she collapsed and I oh, and man. I got a phone call from her phone, but it was the doctor telling me that she had collapsed and she was in the emergency room. Uh, I I get there and she's disoriented and then they find out that she had a a, a tumor, a brain tumor. Wow. And so when I had told my father, of course, he flew down here. But I can see, like, my father's the rock of the family. Yeah. So he handles everything. But when you've been married to someone for 35-plus years and right. you've been hit with a bombshell like that, right. I knew instantly that I would have to be that person for him. So I could definitely relate to that song. And mm. the emotions, how how did you handle, like, knowing... Because uh, how old were you? You said you wrote this song about eight months ago. Eight how months long ago, yeah. did this? How long ago did this happen? And then how did you find the, the, the strength to get through? Um, man, uh, so one, I want to, I want to preface this by saying that my step, stepdad is in remission now. Congratulations. Uh, praise God, man. Praise yeah. God, man. Congratulations. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That so, awesome. um, man, uh, how did I find the strength to get through? Honestly, my family and I had to heavily, we really had no other option, but to heavily rely on God for that. Absolutely. And to say, you know what, no matter what happens here, God, you're good. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I love that, man. Yeah. I love that. So, I would imagine uh, after things started to look like they were on the up and up, uh, right. the songwriter in you, I would imagine, just exploded because I'm sure yeah, emotions totally. came out. So right. I know that you have this song, Strong, and, and, and you just finished telling us about that. Uh, but from that, did it birth other songs as well? Like, Talk to us about what, what were you going mm. through, the aftermath of that. How did it affect you musically? Man, um, it, it it definitely uh, inspired a creative spurt. Um, it's more, kind of more, honestly, after uh, all of this took place, my stepdad was on a mission. Um, kind of more celebratory, light, you know, Absolutely. music rather than music with a lot of depth. And, yeah. Um, I mean the the yeah you you'll hear it when you play the song, but this this song is is pretty heavy, which is kind of deceiving because it's over kind of this driving, uh, four on the floor. Beat. instrumental beat yeah, yeah absolutely um but yeah man so yeah definitely did um you know ins- inspire kind of like a a, a a creative um you know spurt where i was just writing and writing but 
Uh, nothing quite with the depth of this, but there there are other songs on the project with with a lot of depth, just inspired by other life events. So you say project, and I have to ask yeah. you because the 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 reporter, the deep diver in me is going to ask you. Okay, right. so strong is strong is leading to what? Do what? What project is is? So, um, we have a. Let's see. We have an EP coming out early June. Early June, we could be looking for it. Yeah, within awesome. the first few weeks of June. Do we have a name for it? Uh, self-titled. Okay, very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah, man. So we're looking at six songs, I believe. Yeah, six songs. So that's been confirmed. We, we <laughs> yeah, just, I like how you look up. You're like, yeah. We just don't we have. We good. A, okay, we good. <laughs> we good. We just six, don't have man. a date. We just don't have a date. All right. So six songs, and and what's the what's the emotion? What's the feel of of the EP? Um. Like I, like I said, uh, there are songs on the project that do have a lot of depth, that have kind of a, a, a heavier um, undertone. Okay. Um, but there are also other songs that you can just vibe to, you know, I like that. songs that, that, that are still light, you know, but with a good message. Um, so I'd say on the project to, to expect um, songs that are kind of like right down the middle, like R&B Soul, mm -hmm. and the other songs that could – potentially be like top 40 but everything um on the project whether it's this ep or just every song that i have in the vault has this kind of underlying uh soulful essence very so, dope yeah all right so i'm gonna put you i'm gonna put you in a place with me right now i'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit okay uh yeah, you man. and i are going on a car car trip i don't know we're going on a trip somewhere yeah and it's it takes us seven songs i like the number seven, seven it takes songs. us seven songs to get where we're going okay uh now I want to listen to your music. We're listening to your music and we're yeah. vibing to it for a second. You say, yo, T, all right, let's switch it up for a right. second. What seven songs are you going to pick that's not yours that you would vibe out to or that you would want to put me on to that? I'd be like, oh. Right. It could so, be old. It could be new. I, I listen to a lot of old music. So uh, for some reason, as soon as you said that, the first song that came to mind was Overjoyed, Stevie Wonder. Okay. Okay. I like um, that. Second song was I Found My Smile Again, D'Angelo. Look at you. Let's go. Um, Rocking with you right now. Let's see. What else? <laughs> so I'm going to go off of what I was listening to on the way here. Um, so I was like, I was pulling up like old, like 90s R&B songs. Uh-huh. You know that Tony Rich Project song? Nobody knows it but me. Oh, yes. I, and then Baby, I think then Baby Face. Inside. Yep. Yeah. I know that song. <laughs> yes. Oh, my heart was breaking so many songs. Yeah. That's a great song. All uh, right. What song are we? We're song four? We're song four. We're song, song four. four. Um, oh my gosh! Can I pull up my phone? Yeah, you can, but yeah. also don't have me crying in the car. You better <laughs> hit me with some up tempo. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you should see me in a crown, Billie Eilish. Okay. Oh, I like Billie Eilish. Talk, Khalid. Yo, Khalid is he's hot right now as far yeah. as songs and songwriting. Totally. Um. Oh. I, I think we're down to the last song. We're down to the last song. We're down to this is number seven. I like oh, how this that. Is seven. We're at seven. I need we got two one more. more. You got two more. All right, let's we'll keep go. it counting. You got two more. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. And I got man. your bonus song. So do you? Yeah. Um, let's go. Pink Matter, Frank Ocean. Okay, I can rock with it. Yeah, I'm all about that. Um, I need one more, Donna. All right. Um, you you said you have one. I think I think I have one. Uh, yep, I got one. All right, go for it. Go for Eric it. Eric Clapton changed the world. I don't know why. Okay. That's that's my jam <laughs> right, right there. Yeah. Eric Clapton, for whatever reason. There we go. Yo, that's my jam right there. I, so, we can ride the car together. I yeah. like that. Okay. So you got a new EP come out on the way, so fans need to look out for it. How can they follow you on your social media? So all socials, excluding Twitter, is this is Christian Paul. It's too, that's too long of a, of a handle for Twitter, so I shorten it to this is C. Paul. Gotcha. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So we'll go follow him, listen to the music. I'll definitely check out Strong if you haven't heard it. And again, download his music. EP's on the way. Thank you for stopping by. Man, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir.